Welcome to the vlog. This is our US wedding vlog. I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Got my workout in. It's starting to work out at six in the morning because it's the only time I can go in and totally focus. This is the best time of year to do that because it's still dark in the morning. I love waking up, it's dark. In the summertime, the only time of the day you can actually get outside in St. George is early morning. The sun's up a little bit earlier, so like 6, 6.30, we're out with the dogs. And then I would always work out midday because that's when it's the hottest, that's when I'm not gonna be outside. Right now it's kind of flip-flopped. Getting those early morning workouts has been awesome. Today we did a pull workout. So on the heat program, a pull workout. I also have a 30 minute run, but what I'm doing right now is family starting to get in for the wedding. It's Thursday, the wedding's Saturday. We're doing it out at my favorite golf course, Sand Hollow here in town. Won't be on the golf course. It'll be in a little rock amphitheater that they have. So today I'm doing a bunch of errands. Gotta get a hair cut slash trim. Still a little bit too moldy. I actually am also getting a facial. Morgan's 12 years younger than me. I gotta I got do everything I can to look more her age. <laughs> I'll never look her age. It's actually crazy that her and I will never actually be in the same decade together. Whatever, we love each other, don't wanna talk about it. Then I have to go over to where all of my family is gonna be staying. I got them the sickest Airbnb here in town on this lagoon, only to find out the lagoon has been closed for construction. So there's still a pool. They just don't have this awesome lagoon that is a really fun place to say. A buddy of mine owns this Airbnb. We're actually gonna be doing a giveaway with him in the future. But first things first, let's go get our hair cut. All right, gotta come in and see my man Scott. Gonna get me right for the wedding. Just, just touch it up, because we did a little bit last week. It's a little less dirtiness. He always does it. I leave here and I'm like, yes. Whatever that is, I need that in my life and then I can never recreate it. Per usual, I'm five minutes late for everything, so this is where I come maybe twice a year. Things I've gotten done in the past are Botox, probably done four times in my life. I get a facial maybe once or twice a year, and then I've done PRP which is just like getting blood to your scalp. You're supposed to just keep your scalp health healthy. I've done that as well. So today we're getting some kind of facial. Like I said, I need to look younger. I guess we're getting a diamond glow facial. It won't take too long to heal, right? Oh, there's, there's like no healing. Oh, it's basically like a power wash for, okay. your, for your skin. So I get to lay down in this nice comfy thing though. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get used to this lifestyle. Look who it is. The man from Snowy River, back in the St. George. Oh, Don't you have a warrant out for your arrest? Several. Don't release this until like the end of October. I gotta get some things taken care of. Do you think YouTube of. remembers you? No, probably not. All right, it well, wouldn't be anything good if they did. So. Probably not, but Jack's been talking mad crap. That's what my little brother does you here. Gotta, so. You gotta keep people in line. He's in town for the wedding, and then you're going back to Idaho? Yeah. Catch Are you 26? Yeah. Are you just turned 26. Yeah, it's a scary thing to say. So, He's 13 years-ish, 12 and a half years younger than me. He thinks he can keep up though with me. So we're about to head inside and do a strict pull-up contest today. Every day, every day I'm gonna just challenge you to something new while you're here, just to make sure I can still beat you in everything. Do I have Except do I for, he did beat me in a sprint one time. He was running high school uh, track and he beat me. Speaking of fast, woo! What do you think? Man. My car sounds like <laughs> <laughs> Where's the handle, bro? Right there. Oh. Where's the handle? Man! Morgan's gonna love that she's not the only Australian at the wedding. So Hang this on. is our, our buddy Jarman. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Oi, oi, oi! Oi, oi, oi! 07 F430 Spider. So it is the Spider. Is the Spider, does that mean convertible? convertible. Yeah. This is the last, like, real mid-engine manual. You didn't, model you didn't so I do, my goal was to have, like, a a 911 turbo, like an 84 to an 86. Oh, hell yeah. I just can't find anything. Next? German just asked me if I'm if I'm getting nervous for this weekend. I was just saying this feels kind of like we did do it in Australia. If you guys watch the channel, we did it in Australia, and that one felt more nervous because it was all Morgan's family, and it was the first one. So this one, I feel like, is just I haven't even, I haven't even wrote vows yet. 
I know, so I need to probably get on that. I don't know if it is it cheap if I just do the same valves. I don't think Morgan would like that. I feel that's cheating. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's sick. Can I see your wrist, please? What? Why are you so green there, bro? Let's sweat. get you some jewelry that doesn't make you green. Okay? Yeah. The goal is to one day have the Ferrari or Porsche. We're not set or 67. He's not set yet. He's about to be set right after this. Or is 67 Fastback Mustang! It's fun. It's fun. Man. Like it punches so hard. Hearing the metal clink, you know. Yes, that is what I've never even I've never even seen. Woo! Oh, that punches. Yeah. The the tan interior with the cherry red. It's such an iconic combo. All right. You just rode in the Ferrari. Let's go. Let's go see what you're made of. Differences between me and you. I age like that car. I get better. As I get older, let's see how you go. Cool flex, bro. You're you're a Nissan, you're a Honda Accord right now. Does it feel like you're walking into a Gladiator arena right now? Because it should. Pull up bars this way, bud. You do not need that much chalk. Shot out of a Ferrari. I had you know, you, 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 know, you don't need chalk on the back of your hands. Did you wash your hands with chalk? Is that what you're doing? I did. Doing? I literally just. All right. I'll do it again. Let's go. I like your shoes though. Thank you. They're cool. I think you should go first. No. You were the challenger. No. No, I always no. go first. It's my gym, I gotta choose. I One to set go. to failure. Go. Nice wide grip. Two, three, I don't know if that was lockout. Make him lock out. Hey, it doesn't help you to hang. Oh, that was a little swing. Come on, come on, Good, good set. Good set. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's Got a no it. rep. How many do you get, 14? 17? <laughs> I didn't film that! <laughs> There's no proof to beat him! I did! Oh, it actually didn't go. Did you hit the off button? <laughs> I didn't. That is just your luck. I got 23. He, he got 13. And I, said a really, and I said a really cool thing. I was like, 23 because I'm the goat like MJ. You don't, have to lie, you don't have to lie to kick it, Steve. I can't believe you're lying to my YouTube channel right now. <laughs> Jarman, you're an honest vegan. I'm an honest I vegan. I feel like every that's vegan. Oh, that no, is, it's that not. It's difficult in Idaho, by the way. Oh, I'm sure. Al, I don't know how you did it. I just feel like every vegan is a good person who's honest. How many did I get? Are you walking back to Australia? <laughs> <laughs> you want him to lie for I never you? I said that. Well, everyone knows that you did 23. Glad you finally admitted it. But you did train biceps today. I love my younger brother, but I will never let him beat me at anything. What is up? What's up? Yo, what? Good timing, Christian. Just got here to the Airbnb where all the fam will be staying. What's up, what's up, how are you? Oh, this place is sweet. This is an amazing house that my friend owns. It is for rent on Airbnb. I have a massive, massive family and uh, they all have kiddos. So we gotta make sure people, are you guys claiming this room, Jennifer? Oh, 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 I see. You guys just claim the master suite. I like it. They're all master suites. Oh, are they? Every single room has a bathroom, a full bathroom and closet attached. That is awesome. Wait, how does Drew have an NJ Bale suit? That's yours. It's my suit? <laughs> oh, I was like. She was looking for a place to I was like, wait a minute, that's Australian. How does Drew have that? That's why Rika is awesome. She thinks of things I don't even think of. So how many rooms are downstairs? Just one? one but there's seven people okay. and they all have their own bathroom. Okay, here we go. Holy, oh, there's a third level too? Yes. this spot now this is the lagoon and when it is full it is just perfect blue water they must be tearing it up right now because something is not right you can actually get this one this one is called beach home 2.0 um, and you can find it on Airbnb or Red Rock uh, rentals but it's sweet you have your own pool in the backyard go out play sand volleyball swim do whatever when the lagoons going it's just an absolute blast. It's three stories, sleeps up to 27 people. Now, I think it has five 
full bedrooms with bathrooms, so pretty much five suites. And then each level has its own like TV room, pool table on the second one. The same people that I got my suits from in Australia did this tux for me as well. So it's been tailored. I've never owned a tux in my life, but I think every man needs to own a tuxedo. The crazy thing is, is the last wedding, we didn't have suits. I paid a company that paid this guy that swindled me out. He ended up sending suits from China. I ended up getting the full story out of them that they couldn't get our suits in time, so I tried to find something that was just as good. The problem was I didn't get my $3,000 back. MJ Bell, shout out to them. I went into one of their stores. They hooked me up, tailored it, everything within 48 hours. Me, all the groomsmen, they also hooked me up with a tuxedo as well. So we're going with a traditional tux. Hopefully my bow tie comes, because now that I'm thinking about it, I don't have a bow tie. I do have an all black tie, so I might just be rocking that. This is probably debatable, but I'm going with loafers with no socks. No socks. I'm gonna try that on real quick. Make sure everything looks good. Definitely James Bond. Hopefully, we'll be able to button that. We'll throw the cuffs on, we'll throw those little, those little bits that, actually this suit, wow, this doesn't even need it. Usually you see the buttons and you have to put the little black things on. It's a fancy shirt is what that is. I like that. What a day. My family is all at the Airbnb. I just got home. This one, this one, you had torn up a box that had a treat on the counter. The treat was wrapped in plastic. I think you haven't had enough exercise. And this guy always needs some exercise for that guy. So I still have my 30 minute run that's gonna be keeping my heart rate under 145 for a 30 minute duration run. So not looking for a certain amount of miles tonight, just looking for pretty, pretty minimal heart rate in terms of when it comes to running. So last thing I feel like doing after today, but gotta get it done or else that half marathon's really gonna hurt. So I'm gonna leave you guys behind. I think I'm gonna start bringing like a GoPro and strapping it up, but it's getting dark out and this camera does not do well in low light. So, so I'm gonna attach these guys to my little dog harness and we're gonna get after it. I'd like to welcome everybody out to the wedding between Steve and Morgan. It's remarkable when you meet someone that creates that romantic bond so intense that you can't imagine a life without him. And that's the reason we're here. We used to hang around town pretty late. I spent the week thinking about her. Next day, it was easier than. So much easier than.